Aloha, everyone. It was a very noisy Friday session. It was Russell Reconstitution Day. Happens once a year on top of the quad witching sessions. Five sessions a year that my scans lose their minds. And this was no exception. But this one's even wilder because I have the most Max Green Bop, Bop volume truncation names like in my scans as ever. And what that is is it's whenever... The volume surge is the biggest that you'll see on a Zoom 3 chart along with that max green bop in the bottom right corner. I had this action in more stocks today than I ever have before. But when I combine that with some of the action that I saw out there, like for I'm just thinking the symbols off the top of my head. META, UHS, PWR. FSLR and then like in leaders that we had like MedP that actually had gains for us and TTEK that had get, notice how the arrow has gone on TTEK because what is today a final sell signal but this kind of action overall just yeah I, I don't like it so let's look at um our indices the QQQ it's our leader but look at that reversal today on that volume let's look at QQEW confirmation there so they both attempted breakouts they both failed they both reversed lower on heavier volume that's bearish short term it's a distribution day i pay attention to that price action spy exact same thing look at the volume surge on spy any relief when we look at the rsp some but still overall look at that relative strength line chart on the bottom the white line it's not good, guys. It's not good. You want to see it go the other way. QQEW, you want to see it go the other way. You want to see all these moving in lockstep. It's fine that it's not. It tells us that our leadership is still narrow, but you'll notice the relative strength line since the highs, there hasn't been much upside. So what's getting the upside? Well, I guess IWO is. Because if you look at it from those lows, IWO is showing some strength. That being said, any follow through to that nice session off the 50 SMA yesterday? No. Heavier volume reversal. IWM reclaim the 50 SMA and then you kind of stall out. And yes, it is up on the day. And that came from the value stocks that had a pretty good session. But the IWN is also below its 50. But that being said, in the very short term, the IWO, the IWM, and the IWN, the relative strength line, gives me hope that this rally can move into the small cap mid caps just a friendly reminder to everybody while we've been focused on these mega caps and by the way mu i'm stalking this one because of the sales and earnings growth I, i'm still stalking the, the the semiconductors these are the ones that i'm most interested in still nothing has changed here with that being said, they are showing some weakness in the short term. Not really seeing the rotation that I want to see. IGV is looking better. But overall, we've got some sloppy price action. And in a QT market, we shouldn't be shocked. And I like to look at Twitter to see how other um, professional swing traders are doing. People that actually work for major institutional firms. And it's quite obvious that they're getting chopped to bits. I haven't seen the latest um, chart for the IBD swing trader, but I hear that they're basically now break even for the year, while the SPY year to date is up 14%. And guys, that's no, that's not a knock on them. It's a knock on the way that stocks are trading in right now. And I heard that the IBD leaderboard is doing really terrible besides NVIDIA that they're having a horrible year over there. So it's just that kind of market. If we look at the FFTY, look at the relative strength line. That's just in the middle of no man's land. There's no real leadership there. So stock picking just isn't there. If you look at ARKK, stock picking individually is not there, IWM. I spend all my time on that because this evening produced a ton of long signals. I don't know what's real and what's not. I'm hoping for a gap down on Monday morning, but if we don't get that gap down, I still want to take these trades, but I'm sorry, guys. I wish I could be sizing up right now. I wish I could have conviction, confidence, and be sure that we're going higher on these, but I still don't trust the signals yet, and I'm not going to be able to trust them until I see the IWO, IWM, FFTY, ARC. I got to see one of these 
lead. I got to. I got to see one of these speculative areas lead. Until then, my focus is on big cap mega caps. And on that note, Uber is giving me an ad signal. So I plan on adding to Uber. This is in the long-term portfolio. It appears that there is no swing trade on right now. So Uber kind of have a downtrend line breakout attempt, pocket pivot point signal. Um, Want to get long above 73.27, and I'll calculate my size and risk to this support level low, but I am reducing size per long signal after today's session. So another bigger cap, mega cap name, Shaq. I like how after this big earnings gap up, it's consolidated, it's pulled back, kind of rounding out here. So that's the key, rounding out. Volume increase, BOP increase, pocket pivot point signal, get long above the high of the day. Calculate my size and risk to this low. But once again, if anything triggers, fills, and just doesn't move up immediately, I'm getting out immediately. Um, I'm trying to think of a, a name that did that today. Oh, 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 TXRH. So TXRH. So look, TXRH triggered me in, filled, didn't do what I wanted to. Guess who's going to have 75% of their stops below tomorrow's or today's low day? Then a stop here, then a stop here, and the final piece of the stop here. But if it has another heavier volume sell-off tomorrow, on Monday, I mean, guess where the final stop goes? Monday's low a day. So we're seeing price action like that. And there's a stock that was actually, oh, SRPT. SRPT triggered and filled today. Uh, guess what I'm doing? I'm selling a quarter at the market immediately on Monday. And then I have a stop here a stop here and the final stop here but i'm getting out of a quarter of it at the market on monday why it didn't move higher immediately so as long and, and then there was a speculative position that actually traded well today but still i'm selling a quarter of it at the market on monday i'm just getting out it didn't close near the top of its range i expect it's going to fail so a quarter comes out here 50 percent of them the remaining stops here and then the final two p will be piecemealed right there but I just can't trust what I'm seeing. So other Cancelum stocks that look interesting to me following today's session, PUBM, this is Cancelum quality, candle over candle right at its 500 EMA with the pocket pivot point signal. I'll give this a shot above the high of the day, risking to this low. But like I said, I don't expect these to work because I can't trust any signal. But PUBM is a leader, so I like this one. Uber is a leader, so I like this one. Shaq is a leader, so I like this one. And then MOGA is a leader, so I like this one. Very high quality, can slim name. Already had a big volume surge with that quad witching day. And now after Russell Reconstitution Day, another surge. The BOP is still strong. Pocket pivot point signals. Get long above the high of the day. Cut my loss if it fails here. Now that being said, how is HE? I A done since getting along. Mm, same issue. So I still have a piece. But guess where my final stop now is? Today's low a day. Because it lost positive bop, heavier volume. So nothing is really, it's not costing me a lot. I'm not taking big losses, but we're not really making any progress out there. So MOGA, I'll give it a shot. Above the high of the day, calculating my size and final stop initially will be that low. Shaq. Same thing, above the high of the day, this low right here will be my final stop. Uber, get long above the high of the day, this will be my final stop and where I calculate my size from. PUBM, above the high of the day, cut my loss and final stop right here. And then ENSG also. ENSG, I love that volume surge, does not have max ring bop. We're already long. I really don't like adding to something here because more than likely I'm going to add to something and it's going to bring my dollar cost average up and then it's not going to work. But I got to give it a shot when I look at this weekly chart. When I look at this weekly chart, it's got a nice cut pattern. Volume profile is excellent. It is canceling quality. What do I not like? Um, the relative strength lines in the middle of no man's land. BOP is not max green and we're not really seeing any huge winners, but it is in the health services. I still think that XLV and IGV could take leadership from SMH, but it hasn't happened yet. So we'll see. I am going to reduce size once again after today's session. Have a nice weekend, everybody. I'll see you back here on Monday. Aloha.